Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple of ways to quickly wipe a hard drive. So when I say wipe it, I mean remove the volumes or partitions and then pretty much set it back to just a blank disk uh, ready to go. So of course you could go into disk management, you know, right click on each uh, volume there, delete it, and so on, that type of thing. But sometimes you might have a problem where something's, you know, a little bit funky with a disk and it won't let you do it uh, via disk management. So we're going to show you a couple other ways you could do so. All right, so the first method we're going to use is the disk part method. So this is a command line tool that you could use to manage your disks. So we need to open an administrative command prompt, so CMD. Run as administrator. All right, so we need to go into disk part first by typing it in. All right, so now we're at the disk part prompt. So now we need to type in list disk. All right, so you can see we have the two disks here. So we want to work with disk one here. So disk zero is our Windows drive. So obviously we don't want to wipe that. And we can't do that anyways because we're in Windows. So you got to make sure you use the right disk number. All right, so we're going to do the select disk command for that. We'll use a disk one. All right, so disk one is now the selected disk. So all we need to type now is clean. All right, so now you go back here, we have unallocated space and it's not initialized. So we would just have to initialize the disk, pick a GPT or MBR, most likely GPT. And then we could right click, make a volume, either use the whole thing or split it up. All right, so now I'm going to reset this drive here and then we'll do the uh, second method. Okay, so we're back and we have the disk reconfigured the way it was before the first method here. All right, so this time we're going to run a PowerShell script here to actually wipe this. So this is even quicker than the first method. All right, so I have this script here. So this was provided by C Propeller on Reddit. So he gets the credit for this or she. All right, so here is what you need to do. You need to copy and paste this into an administrative PowerShell window. You just need to change this information here. Make sure you use the correct information. So disk one, we have the one there. Uh, we're going to give it drive letter F. You can make that whatever you want as long as it's free. You could even reuse a letter here that you already have in the disk you're going to wipe. A file system, you're most likely going to want to make it NTFS when it formats it. Partition style, GPT. You could change it to MBR as well. And then a label for it. So we're going to call this files. And the rest of the stuff you don't need to change. All right, so we're going to copy this whole thing here. Open a PowerShell window as administrator. All right, we're going to just right click, which will paste it into the window and actually run it. All right, so that's done. And now you can see we have disk one reconfigured as one large drive, NTFS with the letter F and the disk volume label of files. And that was really quick. So this is a really simple and fast way to reconfigure your disk. So of course you have to remember when you use either one of these commands here, it's going to wipe any data on the disk. So if you have important files you want to save, make sure you back them up first. Okay, so I will put this script in the description and I'll also put this as well. You just need to obviously change the disk number here change the disk number here, and then whatever other information you want to change in these five lines here. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.